In the previous part of this section, we learnt about fog harvesting, where water is collected from fog. This area of research is vitally important, as there are billions of people around the world who lack access to a clean water supply. We said that fog harvesting could be used to obtain this vital water in areas with little rainfall but regular fogs. Such an area is the Namib Desert in Africa, and we saw how the Namib Desert Beetle has adapted to the arid conditions by collecting water from fog and rolling it down its back. Found in South Africa, the Cochula phallax plant species has also been studied because of its fog harvesting abilities. The leaves of the plant attract and trap water vapour and we can visibly see the water droplets forming on the leaves over time. The plant then uses the water it has trapped. The Cochula phallax has been studied in order to better understand and replicate its three-dimensional water capture mechanism. The basic structure of a cochula phallax plant is shown on the left. When we zoom in on a leaf, we can see from scanning electron microscope images that each leaf is covered in many small hairs. The hairs trap tiny water droplets as shown in this next set of images. In the bottom row of images, we can see the hairs wrapping around a droplet in order to trap it. This is a three-dimensional mechanism as opposed to a two-dimensional mesh or surface. This is a more advanced system by which water can be trapped and retained by the plant from all directions. Being able to replicate this mechanism would be a big step in the development of fog harvesting technologies as it would allow us greater control over the collected water, preventing water loss from wind or other weather conditions. This mechanism would also result in improved efficiency as water could be collected from all directions. The fog harvesting nets we saw in the previous section were made out of polypropylene woven into a mesh. Polypropylene is a good fog harvesting material because it has a low surface tension. This makes the mesh hydrophobic and so as a fog passes through the net, the droplets roll off the repellent surface down to a collection container. These polypropylene nets have both advantages and disadvantages. The big nets can capture relatively large amounts of water and have much lower installation, production and maintenance cost compared to other fresh water sources like a water treatment system or a water pump. However, there are disadvantages which could be improved on such as low efficiency of the polypropylene net and the reliance on the correct orientation towards the wind to maximise water collection. By using biomimetic design, the efficiency of the net could be greatly improved. From studying the back of the Namib desert beetle, we know that hydrophilic bumps on a hydrophobic background is an efficient way of trapping and collecting water. Incorporating this design into fog harvesting mesh could significantly improve the mesh efficiency, yielding a much greater volume of water collected. In the USA, researchers at MIT in Boston have created a fog harvesting mesh inspired by this biomimetic design. Following on from the design on the beetle's back, the mesh has both hydrophilic and hydrophobic regions, allowing the water first to be caught then roll away to be collected. An improvement from the beetle's back is the use of a permeable mesh as opposed to a solid surface. This avoids wind currents that would form around a solid surface which would blow the fog droplets away. The modification also increases the amount of water that can be caught by the mesh. Looking at the big picture, we can see that if we want to seriously improve and increase the water supply in countries where fog harvesting has been tested, a number of underlying issues must be addressed in order to make widespread use of such functionalised mesh viable. These issues are the cost of production, the efficiency of the mesh and the funding and infrastructure necessary for such a project to be successful. In this section we have looked at the plant species Cochula phallax which can collect a large amount of water within its leaves over time by trapping droplets within the fine hairs found on each leaf. 
The plant's three-dimensional water capture is a source of inspiration for biomimetic study in the field of fog harvesting. We also looked at improvements being made in two-dimensional fog harvesting nets that have taken inspiration from the Namib Desert Beetle. Overall, fog harvesting technology has shown promise as a route to improving the water supply for some of the billions of people affected by water shortages. However, when looking at the big picture, we must note that although fog harvesting technology demonstrates great potential in being able to improve people's lives, in order to become more economically viable, obstacles must be overcome, such as the production costs and funding for this mainly non-profit humanitarian project.